What have I been watching on YouTube? Well, I watch just about every new video Miss Lady Petal uploads just to see her infectious smile and listen to her talk with that awesome Australian accent. But there are a lot of other reasons to go watch her videos, too. I'm newly hooked on her style of letter art journaling. There's a link to her letter journal tutorial in the description box below. And if you're new to art journaling, you will want to watch her art journal starter kit video. Take some time to visit her channel and her blog where she displays her journal pages, challenges, and paintings. Her posts are very inspiring to read. Miss Lady Petal, also known as PETA, describes herself as a paper crafter, painter, mixed media artist, scrapper, and quilter. If you've not found her channel yet, click on the link in the description box below. Hi there. I am a in a couple of uh, letter journal swaps on Crazy Island Family. It's a Facebook art group started by Claudia Rossi of uh, Crazy Island Studio. So in the Journals themselves are fairly small. I think the original inspiration for the letter journals came from Genovelli. I've always been interested in letter journals and uh, when an opening came up for some letter journal swaps here recently, I decided to join. The, we're in groups of four which I think is just right. And uh, our journals are eight inches tall, four inches wide. So basically, when you get your paper together, paper is fairly thin. I use different sorts of paper, but when you have your paper, when you prepare it, it's an eight by eight inch square. And then when you half of it, it's eight by four. So I am going to prep two of them um, because when I send them out I use different types of paper. This one is just a tablet paper. It came from this tablet here. This is a name date project tasks. I don't know where I got it. Off a supply store somewhere. And it's a thin piece of paper. It's, it's just like copy paper, thin copy paper. This paper, I'm going to use this as the front. It's blank and uh, there won't be anything, you know, I'll do my own design on the front and on the back. Well, the names will go on the back. Um, but on this side, it was machine embroidery patterns, I believe. It came from, let me get it out here. I have it right here because I just cut these. It is a miniature collection of machine quilting patterns. 1993, beautiful publications, Thornton, Colorado. But I do not do machine quilting, but I love these patterns. And I'm just gonna lightly gesso over the lined images here. I won't have to do anything on the back of this, and I won't have to do anything on the back of this. This one came from a 1965 almanac. It has the sun dates here, the different length of the days and different moon phases. Um, poultry notes. Would you like to be a skilled locksmith? So it's just text. And then this one came out of a cross stitcher magazine. Clowns, a lady clown and a man, a man clown. Similar on this side, only I have a sheet of music instead of the cross stitch. So what I want to do now is one of the pieces of advice that we got from a lady who's been doing these lady journal, letter journals is to keep a record of where you are on your journals and what you've done to them, maybe like a visual record. Now, you know what I want to do with this? I got it out. Since I am so sold on this gold screen printing ink, I want to 
get my brush in the water and clean it. I want to mix in some um, some gold into my gesso so my pages will have a just a slightly gold tint to them. And I'm just doing a light gesso wash over these backgrounds so that the person who does art on them may or may not get inspired by them. They can paint over them, they can paint them out, they can do whatever their heart desires. So what I'm hoping is, as I do these videos, I'm going to try to do a video of every letter journal that I work on. Just the page that I work on. I won't be showing the entire journal because I figure that will spoil it for the next person. Um, I'm kind of convinced though that when you see art done on a video, you get a whole different impression of it when you see it in person. Either good or bad. Sometimes the video is deceiving in a way. I don't mean for it to be, but sometimes it either looks worse than it is or it looks better than it is. the video I'm going to press these because there there is a little wrinkling not wrinkling but just a little water what do I say from gessoing them I want them to be stiff again the pages so I'm going to press these pages between um, parchment paper these halfway down, punch some holes, and bind them.
it's time to do some art on the cover. to finish up my letter journals. My envelopes are nice and dry. My book covers are nice and dry. So I have this So Easy Stamper. back of the papers. I don't think you can read through the back. But they're going to go on the back like this and like this. But I'm going to run them through my sticker maker. And after my pages are dry, I'll tear these apart and put them on the back. But what I want to do next is I decided that I want to use my fine liner. What happened to that paper I was experimenting with? I'm going to use my fine liner. And I'm going to put uh, a dress form on here. And it's going to say, hello, P.S. Please write soon. Hopefully. Okay, I'm back, and I want to show you where I am on these letter journals. They pretty much have dried. I'm really curious about the weight. We're supposed to keep them under two ounces. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I accomplished that. I'll know when I go to the post office. I went ahead and drew my dress forms on there. Did the little dots, and it's dried overnight and then on this one I took some of this Spectra airbrush medium I got it on sale at Michaels I've never used airbrush medium before this particular airbrush medium is, is it's like doing a thin thin wash and uh, when I apply it with the paintbrush and so I did her in pink should I do the other one in, let's see what other color. I got a yellow, a green. Here I have a blue. I think I'll do the other one in blue. Um, but on this one, let's see. On this one I have these little address labels. I put them on the back. I'm not going to show the back of this one because I don't want to show the addresses. But I'll show the back of this one. And then I put my address labels down 
the bottom this way. 